friends welcome back to another tutorial here on our channel putting up with the pompons i am shantae the mother of the three gorgeous pompon sisters here i have my oldest daughter kalia we are dealing with this wild mane of hers and i decided to do these cute little rubber band rainbow mini puffs with a braid out in the back so we're going to talk about the products that i use and the technique i use to achieve this look so let's go ahead and get into it so of course if you are new to our channel do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video we would love to have you a part of our family to all of my returning subscribers hey mama hey bestie hey friend hope you are being safe and blessed as always all right so we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into it so Kalia has been freshly washed and I am working on one side of her hair where her hair needs to be braided up into the braid out I'm going in with the cream of nature pure honey twisting cream love this cream it's very thick and that's what i love the most about it and when it comes to kalia's hair she sucks up moisture when i say her hair can look very dry in the matter of two minutes so i like to be very heavy-handed with the products as well as making sure i use oil to seal in that moisture to help lock it in okay that's going to be the key for styling with kalia's hair especially when you're dealing with such frizzy big hair i'm going in with my tangle teaser and i'm smoothing this product through now I want to jump into something real quick because I posted a small clip of this on my Instagram page for a lazy hairstyle for Kalia and I called it lazy because it takes minimum effort um, literally use two products to do it all I'm doing is braiding her hair up I also call it lazy because it's free from tension rubber bands gels all that good stuff she only has the necessities in her hair a good cream a good oil that is it and this is the oil that I'm using It's by black seed baby oil and I have been using this oil for about a month now and it has been wonderful I really love this oil so anyways on Instagram I had a lot of people coming for me in the comments because they was just like oh my gosh this is lazy as hell I mean people were really like cussing me out over five freaking braids y'all it was about to make me lose my freaking mind and then I realized there's a reason why I do this and the reason is do you see them inches do you see that growth do you see her hair all of my kids hair not just Kalia alone myself included do you see the growth in the healthiness of her hair I, I want to you know kind of go more in depth about that video because it seems to have just flown over a lot of people's heads so the reason why I do this kind of style and I only do this style maybe once every three weeks so at least once a month Kalia is getting this style and she's gonna wear it for the next week no it's not the prettiest no it's not the most glamorous hairstyle on earth but it's the a low tension hairstyle she is not experiencing any kind of tension whatsoever this style literally gives her a break from all of the style manipulation that she will experience for the remainder of the next month and that is the reason for this it's really just a break for her for myself you know sometimes children just don't want to sit still every other day to get their hair down so this gives her a break her hair a break myself a break her a break like you have to have balance guys I love when my girls hair are just immaculate and they get all these compliments but they also need time to just relax so this is what her hair is looking like a week later after keeping these braids in for a week and yes she does experience some frizz from holding those braids in for a week but those braids that I'm taking out are moisturized I'm not adding any extra product into her hair this is it that that this is it now she could probably use like a curl refresher spray maybe a little bit of water just to help with you know shine and moisture but for the most part her hair is moisturized the only part that it that does need some taming is just those edges which is fine because I didn't do anything to those edges so I expect the edges to need some attention so that's why I decided to add in a cute little decorative piece right in the front now I may sound a little you know passionate about this and that's because the like I care for my girl's hair and I I care about my craft and when people question it it kind of gets me a little heated because I'm just I don't understand where the animosity is coming from and how they run off with a 20 second clip about five braids and in the description I tried to explain that that this is just a style to hold her off for the next weeks so that she can just take a break and your hair needs to take a break it does like just going from one style to the next to the next to the next 
can definitely cause issues. Too much of a good thing can immediately turn into a bad thing. But the same thing that I apply to her hair. I love styling her hair in these cute rubber band hairstyles and braids and you know all these trending looks for children. I love doing those looks. She loves wearing those looks and getting those compliments, absolutely. But she needs a week where we just take a break from that. And that is what the purpose of those lazy styles are for. Now, of course, not every lazy hairstyle that I do on her is gonna be five plaits. Maybe one day I decide to do eight. Maybe one day I decide to do 12 um, I might do twists one month it just depends on what I plan on doing it's just how happened that that week I had chose to do five plots and I mean people were highly upset with it and and you know some people you know did ask for you know more information because they just didn't quite understand and that's perfectly fine I have no problem answering questions if you're curious about why I do something if you have a legit question, I have no problem answering. Those don't bother me at all. And I understand a lot of people are curious about Kalia's hair growth and how I style her hair and how I keep her hair looking moisturized and healthy. Those are all respectable, you know, concerns. But what gets me is when people just straight up insult what I am doing with my, my child's hair. That That is where I kind of like draw the line and it's just like, okay, you're no longer curious about what I'm doing. You just refuse to understand. You're not looking to understand nor are you looking for an explanation. You just want to insult and hurt somebody's feelings and that I don't, I will never get behind. So I'm taking out the remainder of her braids and I'm not fluffing it just yet, just because I wanna see how big her hair is going to be before I start separating everything. Um, I do pick out her roots just a little bit um, using a uh, pick comb that I purchased off of Amazon. And all of these products and accessories that we are using can be purchased through our Amazon store. And I will have that link down below in the description box for you guys. So now it is time to work on these edges. I'm going in again with that Shine FX conditioning oil, the same uh, gel that we used to do her rubber band sections. Now I'm pulling her hair up because what I want to do is take those two side pieces and bring up around the back and rubber band those together to kind of help with keeping those laid. Um, I didn't, I wasn't, I'm pretty sure that the gel wasn't going to be able to hold those down by themselves. And this just kind of helps with the reinforcing that those edges stay down and don't poof back up. Now I didn't really get to talk about the elastic bands that I use. So I mean, I use elastic rubber bands the, to do the rainbow effect that we have going on. It's Pride Month and I feel like the rainbow effect was a cute little touch. Now using those elastic bands, I do have to double up on the bands that I'm using. So I don't just use one single band. Um, for each one of those sections, those are two elastic bands. And that's because elastic bands can be very finicky and it can pop very easily, especially if your hair is very thick. So um, do take care with do, using elastic bands for curly hair hair now when I tied back her side pieces in the back I did use a regular rubber band now do be careful and not grab those baby hairs I did kind of snag a couple and you can kind of see that she's back there pulling I always look for those signs where Kalia is uncomfortable with a style because those signs will let you know if a style is too tight or if you know she's saying something is uncomfortable and I did have to go back and redo it for her. I'm now gonna go in with some got to be freeze spray and this is just gonna kind of reinforce those sides to make sure they stay down. Now I'm also gonna show you guys a quick little night routine that I do for her so that her hair stays nice and tied down. I'm going in with a silk wrap and two silk scrunchies to tie everything down for her nighttime. So thank you guys for joining us on another video. I hope I address as many questions as possible. But of course, if you still have questions, do not hesitate to leave a comment down below. Don't forget to check out our other videos for kids hair care for the Pompon Sisters. We greatly appreciate having you guys here. Be blessed and be safe.